Okay, so we've already mastered solving linear equations. Um, and the reason they're called linear, in fact we should pronounce it linear, because they make a straight line when we plot the graph. It's the reason we've got smiley face here, because quadratics make a smiley face when we plot a graph on them, or a very sad face. If they're a negative quadratic, like a minus x squared. So to solve quadratics, you might remember the line from the song. It goes like this. To solve quadratics, you just factorise. We just factorise. That's the key to solving quadratics, is just factorising. So we've got a zero on the right, and we're going to factorise this left-hand side. x squared plus 5x plus 6 factorises to x plus 2, x plus 3. As we know, as we've seen lots of times, I can substitute any value of x to, into here, and it will get the same as if you um, sub that same value of x into here. They are exactly the same thing, they're equivalent, whatever the value of x is. This is just a different way of writing it. I've now got two numbers, a number x plus 2 in brackets, and a number x plus 3 in brackets, that are multiplied together that equal 0. And that's the key to solving your Fabros quadratic, because any two numbers that times together to make zero, one of them has to be zero. Let's think about this. Five times zero is zero. Um, a half times zero is zero. Zero times seven is zero. Zero times zero is zero. But we can't come up with a pair of numbers where one of them isn't zero. So we know that any two numbers that times together to make zero, one of them's got to be zero. I've got two numbers that times together to make zero, one of them's got to be zero. So my options are x plus 2 is zero, or x plus 3 is zero. So I've split in two here. With a quadratic, we get up to two solutions. Okay? You can't have more than two solutions for a quadratic. Um, so when x plus 2 is zero, x has got to be minus 2, because minus 2 add on 2 makes zero. When x plus 3 is 0, x has got to be minus 3, because minus 3 plus 3 makes 0. Let's just check this by substituting them back into our original thing. 5x plus 6. So when x is minus 2, x squared is 4. Remember, a minus squared is a minus times by a minus, a minus times by itself. Minus 2 times minus 4 is plus 4. And then I've got 5 times minus 2, which is minus 10. Adding a minus is just minus, so minus 10, and then plus the constant of 6. 4 minus 10 plus 6 does equal 0. It has worked. And on this side, I've got minus 3 squared in the x squared, which gives me 9, plus 9, because minus 3 times minus 3 is plus 9. I've got plus 5x is going to be plus 5 times 3, but a minus 3. So 5 times minus 3 is minus 15. Plusing minus 15 is just minus 15. And then I've got the constant plus 6 on the end. 9 minus 15 is minus 6 plus 6. That does make 0 as required. There won't be any other solutions, we can randomly try another one, x is plus 2, x squared plus 5x plus 6, that's 4 plus 10 plus 6, well that makes 20, so that doesn't work, that doesn't make 0. There aren't any other possibilities, you can only get a maximum of two solutions of the quadratic, and you get them by factorising. So to summarise, we've got our quadratic equal to 0, a quadratic equation equal to 0, we factorise, and this is still equal to zero because the factorised form is the same as the expanded form. Two numbers times together to make zero, one of them must be zero, so either x plus two is zero or x plus three is zero. And then these are easy to solve. When x is minus two, this makes zero. When x is minus three, this makes zero. So x is minus two and x is minus three are our solutions, and we've checked that they do work and make zero here, they do.